My name is Nikki Taylor, I'm Director of Training and Coaching with the Tailored Life Company and today I've got the pleasure of speaking with Claire and uh, just going to speak with Claire about her experience of what life was like for her before she came on her practitioner training and master practitioner training and, and what she now uses that for, yeah? yeah. So yourself, Claire, what was your motivation to, to come and, because I think you came on the coaching weekend first of all, Yeah, so it's yeah. actually a year ago this weekend. Oh, so, okay. Yeah, so this is my anniversary <laughs> of meeting you guys. Um, so yeah, I came, um, I was kind of lost and a bit stuck. Mm -hmm. I was a mum and I was kind of just in a bit of a mess um, and I was just looking for something to help me get out of that. Okay. Yeah, okay. so I came along to your coaching weekend. And that was the start bit for me, really. Brilliant. So, do you mind if I just ask you a little bit more about no, that? That's fine. okay. So, when you say that you were you were lost and a little bit stuck, was that because sometimes that happens when? And feel free to reject this when we are caring for other people and our our, our focus really is on helping other people and you know especially when you've got children and sort of get them into school and you know and, and the general caring duties that. that come with that yeah. and often when children are small we can almost forget who we are as people yeah and I think that there was a certain aspect of that I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety um, I got to the stage where I wasn't really going out and I got to the point where I kind of decided something had to change I got to kind of I guess the lowest point I could have gone and I've looked at my situation and tried to work out what I could change and the only thing I could change was me yes so that's kind of how I ended up here. Okay, <laughs> for okay. The weekend because yeah. I was on that kind of going through and looking at things that I could change and yeah. how I could do that and yes. you popped up on my tongue on Facebook. Oh, well there you go. Yeah. And that's that's a really great realisation because a lot of time people put stuff outside of themselves yeah. and they they don't take the appropriate action which will help change their circumstances. Mm -hmm. So you got to that point where you almost had enough of that you had enough of being stuck and you knew it was something you needed to do in order to make the change yeah. for yourself. Yeah. And so when you came on the, the coaching weekend, what was it that then appealed to you to go on and take the, the practitioner course? So it was a lot of things really. It was more about understanding on things from my past really and mm -hmm. then work when you did the review of timeline therapy and releasing all of those negative emotions, the example you did. That kind of was the turning point for me. I'm like, okay, that's what I need to do. Yes. That was like my trigger, if you like, to go right. That's my next step. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So had you had you already done different therapies and things like that prior um, to that? Yes, I had talking therapy, so mm -hmm. counselling. Um, they called it REM therapy. Okay. Yeah. Where I had to talk through how I was feeling, and they said that the movement of my eyes following a laser would. Um, make the memory go where it needed to go and really mm -hmm. just um, be repressed and go kind of file itself away if you like, um, but that didn't work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um, and were you on medication at the time? Yeah, I was on antidepressants. Yeah. Um, how long had you been taking those you've done? About three years, four years, so it's been quite a while. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So you came on the practitioner course. Yes. Yeah. And what happened during that week and, and in the sort of subsequent time afterwards? How, how was it different for you? So the, there's a few things that kind of stand out when you ask that question. The first is that I found like I found myself mm -hmm. um, and I realised that I had a lot of limiting stuff going on. Um, and we did quite a lot of work during the course and processes. And in those processes, I released a lot of negative emotions, um, a lot of limiting beliefs that I wasn't good enough, um, that I couldn't do what I wanted to do. And once they were gone, it kind of left just me. Yes, <laughs> yeah, well, that's and good. And in a piece, really, is what it yeah. mainly gave me. It stopped my internal voice so much. Because yeah. nice. that can be exhausting when you've got that, that voice, your own voice, or even someone else's voice sometimes, yeah. just sort of talking to yourself and, and, and bringing you down yeah. constantly. Yeah. So when you were going through the process, because sometimes people think that they have to go into the content of, you know, the past and when things have happened to them and stuff yeah. like that, this is very different, isn't it? It is so different, yeah, because when I did counselling it was having to go through events that happened and a lot of them I couldn't remember. Mm. I knew stuff, had ha stuff has happened in my life, but um, having done the courses I now know they were repressed because I wasn't capable of dealing with them. Yes. Um, 
but having that process where you don't have to go into that detail mm -hmm. and still release everything is amazing. Yes. It's yeah. like magic. Because I think sometimes yeah. that puts people off, doesn't it? If they think yeah. they've got to go back and relive yeah, stuff. Absolutely. And, you know, often, as you say, it can actually make things worse because yeah. you keep going over stuff and, yeah. and reinforcing it. So this is yeah. a very, very different process with uh, the techniques that we use. So so you finished the course. Yeah. Yeah. And then since then you've done your Master Practitioner course. Yes, I have. Yes. yes. Yeah, I loved doing that. That was a whole new level. Yes. Yeah, it was really good. Um, and I learned a lot more about myself mm -hmm. in that and released a lot more stuff. Yes, yeah, good, because it is like that. layers of an onion. Yeah. As you release one lot, often, you know, there yeah. will be something that comes and up from was, underneath. Yeah. 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 And, that, and that's quite normal to yeah. do that. So how are you now using this? Because you're using this with, with other people now, yeah, aren't so you? Yes, I'm coaching. Um, I have had quite, oh, I've had a lot of clients so far. Um, there's a couple that spring to mind that have done really, really well, and well, all of my clients have done well. But there's a couple that kind of spring to mind. Yeah, that stand out. That for stand you. out where they've been probably in a similar situation to where I was confidence wise and depression wise and anxiety wise. And mm -hmm. seeing the changes after catching up with them recently has been amazing. Well, that's that's really good. So in terms of yourself, you you were on medication before. Yeah. Do you still take medication no, now? No, I came off. Okay, and yeah. again in conjunction with your with GP. Doctor, yeah, because yeah, that's my important. Doctors, yeah, and I reduced it gradually. So yeah, good. Tips. And because you've gone through that experience yourself, then is that your sort of client group? Is that where yes, you prefer to yeah. work? Yeah, so um, because I had no confidence, mm -hmm. that's, um, and depression and anxiety have taken that away from me, I felt. Yes. So that's my... My, um, your niche, my niche, niche yeah. search. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. So, would you mind just sharing perhaps the the results from one of your clients? Don't don't give yeah. any names. Yeah, but no, absolutely. Um, so there's a lady. Um, she was in the armed forces. Well, she still is. Um, but she was very unhappy. She had depression. She'd just gone through a breakup. Mm -hmm. um, she was crying all the time. It was affecting her work. Um, so she reached out to me, and we had the initial conversation. Um, I explained that it's a process and that you have to follow the steps and she did that and the results have been phenomenal actually she's just emailed me today oh okay yeah literally this morning um, to say that she's ready to deal with um, the ex and to release the negative emotions linked to her because she's ready to move on now so she's gone through her process um, and but she's doing really well and she's really confident and she's looking at coming out of the army in April and going into the fire service. Oh, so yeah, excellent. Big change for her. Yeah. So that's really good. And that must be so nice for you because not only have you have you dealt with your stuff yeah. as we, as we call it, and I would imagine that's improved your life. Yes. Yeah, yeah and that your sort of family as well. Yeah. And now you're actually in a position where you can help other people to deal with some of the stuff that they're experiencing, which is you know what you had in the past. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Very, very rewarding. Yeah, it's so rewarding and it's just seeing the changes and I find that watching people's eyes from the start to the end um, it gives me the biggest kind of, because I can see the difference in their eyes and it's really amazing. Brilliant. Thank you so much for, for sharing your journey with us, Claire. Thank you. Really, really appreciate it and, uh, and keep up the good work. Thank you. Excellent. Thank Thanks, you. Thank you.